What's up guys, Oasis Gabo here, and I'm going to be showing you in today's video how to play Deadside in Arena. This isn't always the best way to play Arena if you want to get better at fighting, but if you want to get points and you want to get to champs fast, this is the best way, and you want if you want to pick off the, the worst players in the lobby, I would say this is the best way to get points in Arena. So when you're in the lobby, what I try to do is I want to think, I want to prepare myself. Where am I dropping? What is my plan after I drop? What is my loop path? Where am I going? All right. The more prepared you are before you get into the game, the better you're going to do off spawn. If you you're want not. to make sure that you drop, you know where the loot is, you know where the best loot is, you know where you can escape easily, you know where you can get height, you know where you can have good movement. You want to make sure that you can land somewhere that you know well enough where you can feel like you have control of that POI and if someone lands there, you know it better than them so that you can easily take them out. don't want if you want to rotate to dead side the most important thing is don't land in the middle of the map and i'm going to prove to you guys why that's important before the battle bus launches boom so i immediately go to the map and i'm going to show you guys okay about the bus drive is going here so the majority of kids are going to be in this area right here bunch of land here bunch of land here bunch of land here bunch of land here the non-majority of kids are going to be in this half of the map this little crossing right here so i'm going to drop my arena drop, which is right here. The chances of people being in this area are slim, especially with this bus route. If it was closer to here, I would be more worried about kids being there, and I'll be like, okay, I have to play better. I'm gonna land here, and we're gonna see where the zone takes us. So you wanna get a good drop. And I would say I would wanna drop like right around here, and look here. You don't want to get too high, you don't want to get too low. Thank the bus driver. And I'm going to look kind of to see it where I can see it correctly across. Launch. If you don't have a drop map, that's okay. For competitive events, I would definitely recommend getting a drop map. Um, very important. It'll help you a lot, out a lot. You can still get videos on how to use it. Like, essentially, there's a certain spot where if you point down and you look down at get a very good drop. So I'm going to be a little low here, as I can already tell. But I'm, I'm looking. I don't see any kids behind me. There's probably going to be a couple kids there. Maybe a kid there. Maybe a kid there. But because of my low drop, I don't know. I It wasn't a good drop. It was a little bit far. But unless there's kids near me, I think we're okay. So because I have a bad drop, if you get a bad drop like this, you no, know, can go here. Go here. There's shrugs. The chug. Not gonna hit the gas can. Hit the cabbage. So. Since, since no one landed here, I'm alright, I can take my sweet time. First zone is already pulled. There's only 66 people left. No one plays Soul Arena guys anymore. It's a bad point system, but it's what the at this time it's early in the morning. If you want to play with no one else is, now's a good time. So we don't have to do anything this zone. So I'm going to show you guys where my loot path is. My loot path is I land here, and then I go here, and then here, and then up here, and back around. So we're going to start here, I'm going to show you guys what you can do. Basic loot, got shotgun, SMG, so already in this situation, I don't have the best uh, heals, but I have a blue SMG, great shotgun, red eye, I'm going to carry that for now, and hold on to the big pot. Another shotgun ammo up here, another chest. chest Already got top 50 points. So I just saw a kid there, I guess not. I'm gonna heal for a second and show you guys what you can do at this point. So, dead zone in this scenario would be not here this is the most contest like congested part of the map is this whole area right here this would not be dead zone so if you were pushing in here you would definitely get conned by someone but if you're here there's no one behind me there's no one in this area most likely that's going to push back all right 
Breakwater Bay is definitely going to be congested, so I don't want to go here. But in the position that I am here, I can roam all around here, and the likelihood of someone being there is very low. And there's also 40 people left. Complete dead side, I would say, would be in this area. But I have, like, pretty good dead side as well here, so I don't really have to worry. If you find a uh, safe, if you can get cold, I highly recommend. Because it's very important. Gold, you can re-roll, you can defeat the party, you can get light finger, you can get aerialist. Those are, I would say, are the best perks. And it's definitely helpful to have those perks in the game, especially in the game. Next zone is already here, and I'm very close to next zone. So I'm gonna go right now, though, to my POI. My next spot, which is right here, which is actually in zone. So instead, I'm gonna do a quick blue path since I have two of these and I can get 20 health. So we're gonna spend 20 seconds on this Then we're gonna go quick. Nice, better shotgun, totally worth it. And get some more bandages. Put the zipline. Drop directly right down here. Next zone, we got a little ways to go. We don't have to spend too much time here. Pick up more bandies. Perfect. Now we're in a really good spot. We got Max Chug. We got some ODM gear. And we found a sword, it looks like. So at this point, actually, I'm in a full ODM gear. Pop this. Get the Max. Brick. Now we're gonna ODM up and get some zone. Easy, we've got two left. Oh, uh, I'm gonna ODM up. Add them. Grab this there. Drop that. Free pad here. This is why I just rotate. So now we're gonna go directly in the zone. I'm gonna, go I'm gonna explain what to do next zone. Brick here, make sure you brick is like a, not like perfect amount, but you know, you have a decent brick. We're top 10 already, which is great. Top 20, I mean, so. Top 20. We have decent mats. Here, which is fine. I'm going to show you guys where you want to move next. So, this is a pretty easy way. Okay. Everyone from Brutal, Lonely, Slappy, Mega, Naughty, Kenjutsu, Steamy, Frenzy, they're all coming in here. So, what I don't want to do if I'm trying to play Dead Side and I'm trying to play low key and not push people is I don't want to go this way don't want to follow this loot path instead i want to cut in here be where kids from breakwater and citadel and get to like here that is dead side so we're gonna pop another slurp we're gonna pop a couple slurps and we're gonna start rotating get some trees along the way i also have god rotate so i can just go like this you gotta be careful when you're rotating, you wanna stay lower to the ground. If they hit you, you get shot out. Warning, so we're gonna continue. I'm gonna be careful, we're gonna work for kids. Then we're gonna click on, so we got a little bit of a recharge time. But we're gonna get over here. We're gonna pop our perks while we wait. Nice, we got aerialists. We're gonna chill right here, we're gonna get some rocks. Get some bricks, stock up on bricks. Behind. Oh, 
behind me. This is probably dead side at this point. The chance that there's one here is very low. It looks unlooted. And it gives us height, it gives us artificial height, we don't have to build up. Boom, we're up. Just got looted, but the chances that there's another kid here very low. We can wait for next zone to pull. Figure out where we want to go next. But here, in tournaments, you're probably going to be contested here. But compared to other spots on the map, it's basically free rotating. thing over here there is a whatever you call it casket so that could be worth it so this point in the game there's 10 kids left so you got to think about you this is where you got to be smart so i'm here things here we're gonna wait for next zone because if this if it doesn't pull to this then that means that we could go for it if it pulls here the majority of the kids left are in here they're all in this area so we have complete dead side there might be like a kid here, there might actually be a kid going for the casket, which is why you gotta be aware. The majority of the kids are gonna be in this area. So boom, we pulled. We have great position. This is where, literally complete dead side, I don't know if I saw a kid or not. Hold up. You gotta be careful, we gotta look. I don't see anybody. Pop up for perks. I'm gonna hold on to Chuck in game time. Alright, so that's that's not in zone. Looks like someone's building in. I don't know if that's recent or not, but we're fine where we are at the moment. We're just gonna wait for next zone to pull. We can build up a little bit. I'm just gonna cover my back. And now we wait. Because there's so little people left, we don't have to worry about, like, really anything. We're in a really great position. We don't got to worry about getting conned too much. We have, all, like, artificial height. If someone pushes us, they push us, then we have to fight. That's how it is. But in this position, you just, it, you're just working on your game mechanics. You're just working on understanding where you need to rotate, what you need to do when you rotate, mats, stuff like that, where people are going to be. Understanding dead side is one of the most important things. Quizo and Vini, Vin, Quizy and Vino, one of the like top tier EU players, always go dead side. Every time. Every time. That's the one of the main things that they talk about on Reason Masterclass. Dead side. Finding dead side, going to it, understanding how like to get there. What because once you get dead side, not too many kids, you get to spray surge, you're fine. This would be good for height, right there. I don't know if that's in zone. It is, but we don't need to worry about that because it's kind of middle zone. Okay, so now we're in a tricky position. We got. I'm gonna just show you guys where we need to go. So, if we want to continue to play dead side, everyone in shattered side is gonna be in this area. So we kind of want to go like right there, directly ahead of us. Not gonna be too many kids here, but they're all gonna be here. So we wanna. What we wanna do is we wanna ro late rotate here. So because 
I'm the way that the zone works and because we're gonna look around for kids we're gonna look around for kids rotating ahead of us and then we're, that's gonna base off where we want to rotate so if there's a kid rotating here we don't want to go over there if there's a kid rotating here we maybe want to go middle if there's a kid middle then we don't want to we can maybe spray from behind them make them box up and then rotate over here we also could use a little bit of mat so i might just jump off go here and then let's race lay rotate I'm gonna actually go down here. There might be a kid here, you gotta be careful. Alright, so now we gotta go up. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go around this side. Yep, kids up there. Got one coming back to here. Slide a little bit, almost fell to our death, whatever. <laughs> and uh, there we go. Maintain the resisting. Got shot at, it's fine. We go around here now. Get in. And pop flops. When you get jumped like that, when there's two kids, one of them has a pulse rifle, the best thing to do is you just need to dip because the kid with the pulse rifle, or you can hit a peak pump shot on him. On him. But yeah, that's basically, that's how you understand dead side. You basically want to play smart. You want to understand your rotates. Stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to do VOD reviews now. I'm going to look at what I did wrong. Consistently try to get better. I'm going to look at what I did wrong. I'm going to understand what I should have done there. Maybe it wasn't the best rotate. Maybe I shouldn't have landed on that castle with the kid. Maybe I should have gone somewhere else. I probably would have gotten sprayed by a pulse rifle kid, but it is what it is. But I appreciate you guys watching the video. Like and subscribe if you made it this far. Comment where your favorite POI is, what your favorite Fortnite streamer is. But uh, see you in the next guy, next one, guys. Have a great, amazing day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Continue to grind, guys. It's worth it. All right. It may not seem like you're gaining anything, and it may not seem like coming anything but usually that means that when you don't feel like you have anything and you feel like all you've worked for you haven't achieved usually means success is right around the corner so have a great day guys be safe peace see you in the next one